Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Skies of Arcadia Legends. Last time we fought a giant looper and got a couple of discoveries. That's pretty much it. <laughs> That's not very much. Uh, but this time we're going to try to fit a little bit more, hopefully, in that we're going to fly up here um, to where that squid's nest discovery was and fight uh, with another one of the giants. So actually I will just meet you guys up there to save some time. And I just realized I never showed off um, those items we got from Vise the Imposter and stuff. So actually I'm gonna look at that. Just completely spaced that I even got those. Um, well it was one of these robes, wasn't it? Long robe maybe? Ugh. I don't know. <laughs> None of these seem particularly beneficial in any way. But, uh, the weapon we got for Aka, the Swirl Meringue, um, it has a guaranteed confusion status thing. It's a little bit weaker, like 30 attack power weaker, but honestly, she's not a main attacker anyway. So I think we're just going to equip that, and uh, whenever we see the next battle, <laughs> you'll see that. It's pretty cool. And actually, I'll put Vice's thing on too. It's not, I don't think it's quite as good. Yeah, see, it high attack power but low accuracy. It has terrible accuracy, and it actually has less attack power than my Wind Slicer. So I'll equip it just for like the beginning of a fight, and then I'll switch to Wind Slicer. Um, but yeah, it's pretty goofy looking too. So yeah. And look where we are. There's a giant squid. Rather. If you remember the squid discovery, squid's nest was actually like right over here, and we're just just to the west of it. So. Hello, giant squid! Oh man. Well, here we go. Here's a battle, so you can see the weapons at least. Might as well distract us. Look at freaking Aka has a. <laughs> okay, so here's Vice. He has like a fillet knife and a fish. Yeah. It's, oh my lord. <laughs> it's pretty funny, pretty funny. Okay. So I'm actually going to equip my... Wind Slicer. And uh, I don't even know what I'm fighting here. Oh. Okay, not a big deal. I'm just going to use Lambda Burst. But yeah, look at... Here's Aka. <laughs> she has a giant lollipop. And she has this little thing on her back. That I think has her name on it. But I can't look at it. It's like a little candy wrapper pack on her back. Hey, look at this, man. This is the coolest weapon ever. A giant lollipop? It's perfect. It's, it's, it's freaking perfect. Boosh. Oh, yeah, guaranteed confusion. That's pretty cool. Pretty neato. Oh, yeah. Okay, now let's fight the giant squid. Hurry up, man. Hurry up. Eh, creepy eye. Ah, that squid's huge. It's bigger than our ship. I've heard stories about the a giant squid, but I never actually believed any of them. All right, everyone, battle stations. Woo, battle stations. Yeah, so this thing is obispo. Obispo. It's actually not very powerful, I don't think. <laughs> not entirely sure. Basically, um, as we damage it, its tentacles are going to fall off and it gains... It, I, think, I think it gets stronger the more tentacles you blow off. So really, killing it as fast as possible um, from full to dead is the best thing you could do. Because I think with all its tentacles, it does very, very little damage. <laughs> it's not much bigger than our ship. Squid ink! Why is there, like, electricity in the ink? <laughs> it's not a jellyfish. Peace. Peace. 
So I don't remember. There's probably a Moonstone Cannon opening somewhere. Hopefully pretty quick in the fight. Because, ugh. Ugh, I say, ugh. Only, only does 2,000 th damage. It's like nothing, man. I can take like 25 of those hits before I'm dead. Huh, yeah, see, I don't, I don't really have any openings. Oh, well, we're just gonna... Just gonna start attacking, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I'm not really gonna heal because I don't really need to. You know what, let's use a Serpent Torpedo. Terrible accuracy. Sounds like the best plan ever! You know, maybe... Actually, maybe we won't get a Moonstone Cannon opening until we start doing damage. I don't even think about that. Ugh, oh well. Doosh! You know, I think those torpedoes fire out of different slots every time. Because I remember them firing out of the front ones. I think. <laughs> I don't know, though. Uh... Maybe. 9,000 damage. Yeah, look at that. It doesn't have even that much health. <laughs> One Moonstone Cannon Blast would probably take it out. I guess we didn't do enough damage to knock its tentacles off yet. So. Oh well. I think that's really the only attack it ever does. Maybe. He definitely does that most of the time. There's a Moonstone Cannon. I'm not really sure how we're going to get the next option, actually. But I'm going to use this anyway. Oops. And by that I mean this. <laughs> and some apple wax. Um, 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 um. Maybe I have to defend on the last turn. We'll just try that. I'll have him use this as well. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. these ship battles take so long. I don't even know if I could fit two of these in one video. I'm gonna sure try. <laughs> Hopefully we can take it out with the Moonstone Cannon. Alright, there goes some of the tentacles. Gross. I didn't need to see that. Even less damage. What the heck? I don't fully understand your tentacle ways, giant squid. There go one of your tentacles. I like how there's one tentacle in the middle. <laughs> it seems kind of weird. Kind of strange. Come on, Moonstone Cannon, please. not entirely sure what triggers this Moonstone Cannon thing. I hope that's it right there. Like, kind of avoiding the spray so that we can see and blast him. Oh, that's right. It's a decision. I remember. I remember. Vice, we're all waiting your orders. What should we do? Let's maintain present course, because if we go behind it, that's basically where the ink's coming out, I guess. Maintain present course and speed. It's too soon to make a move. It appears that the squid can attack bes behind itself, so perhaps it may be best to try and get beside it. Good thinking, Fina. Alrighty, then. Maintain present course. Dude, that was my decision. Fina's just like, I'll go with it, man. Okay, so it's gonna die. Might as well just... <laughs> no. Heal myself. <laughs> Sweet. 
So just to fit the other fight in, I'm probably just going to cut the travel out, I guess. Uh, it's been like, what, 12 minutes or something? Jeez, I don't know. <laughs> I've gotten so bad at keeping track of how long these parts are. This is so much cutting to do. Oy. Cut, 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 cut. In fact, that episode with them, the freaking Cabal Skewers, I cut out like 30 minutes of that. Dude, it's not dead! Oh, that is so bogus. That is bogus. But yeah, I cut out like 30 minutes out of that episode. That was ridiculous. Oh, my lord. <laughs> it just has that one tentacle now. Oh, boy. You're not really a squid anymore. You're more of just a floaty... thing. Yeah, he hasn't used any attacks other than squid ink. Like, what? <laughs> Is that all he does? I don't know, man. They really could have made these giant battles a lot more epic than they are. But I guess you kind of do... You could accidentally run into them at any time, just be like, oh, what's that thing? Oh, there's Moonstone Cannon on this turn as well. Hope it doesn't take all the way to the last turn. Just gonna spam cannons until then. Boosh. <laughs> You're dead! That's not very much damage. Oh, he's exploding! Bye-bye! Alloy deck. Hmm. Q. I don't know what that is. I don't think it's that strong or that good, actually. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, actually, it's better than heavy armor deck. I was completely wrong. That I can deal with. Okay. So, to save time, <laughs> we actually have to go over here, which I know it looks like it's really close. But the only way we're going to get there is by sailing south and basically going all the way down this way. Because we can't pass this dark rift right here. Or this little cliff right here. Or mountain range or whatever that is. So yeah, I'm going to cut that out and I'll see you in the lands of ice. Alrighty, we're in the lands of ice and here's the other giant. And uh, this is the one, or one of the two, that you're going to want to have Khalifa as your active crew member, 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 which I think we do. Yeah, we do. Uh, if you want that Vice the Extravagant title. Hello! Weirdest thing I have ever seen in my life. What is that? This thing? Is it an insect or something? Wow, there are things like this flying around? Now this is why I love sailing. You never know what you'll run into. Yeah, this is pretty wacky. <laughs> so, this is Alania. It's actually quite a pain in the rumpus. Um, because it's highly, highly evasive. And, uh... Actually, it doesn't do that much damage. I probably don't have to block. But I will use a crew command. Oops. Max out your spirit points. That's actually misleading. I don't know if she does max. Well, maybe she does. It's, it's basically your max minus the 15. But it also costs the 15 to cast. I don't know. It's it's weird. It's a weird system going on. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, that'll remove our need to focus for this turn anyway. And dun, 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 dun. I don't really know what else to do right now. I guess I could just focus the remainder. Not that it would really matter. Yeah, this thing doesn't do very much damage, but it's very, very difficult to hit. It's basically only sea turns and moonstone cannon hits. Which is 
really bogus, and I hope it doesn't make this fight drag on too much. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm pretty sure it has a lot of health, so we need to get at least two Moonstone Cannons off. If not other things as well. And, uh... This thing I read said that torpedoes are pretty effective, but... I mean, torpedoes have really bad accuracy, so you'd almost... Oh, I probably should equip that crew member that increased torpedo hit percent. Lawrence or something. I don't remember who did it. <laughs> We're gonna be full of SP. I don't think that's ever happened in a ship battle yet, actually. I don't know if you get a special thing for that. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. It's too thin. We can't hit it from the side. So we're going to get behind it. I think that's the best choice to avoid some damage. Okay, we got behind it. This should give us an advantage. Behind it? Um, are you sure that thing has a front and a back? They both look the same to me. Just, just leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. If I say it's the back, it's the back, okay? Just fire at it. Whoa. Getting a little defensive there, dude. But yeah. <laughs> okay, we don't get anything special, it looks like. Not a big deal. Uh, I really don't think we're going to hit it with a torpedo or anything. But we have plenty of SP, so like... I feel stupid not even trying to hit it with something here. Uh, let's... Try some of this and some of this. You know what I'm doing? I'm just doing it all. Moonstone cannon, fire! God, this is the weirdest creature I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like a giant. Wow, well, that did a lot of damage. It's like a giant spider web snowflake bug flying around by its butt. What? I don't even know. I don't even know what to think. Just don't get caught in it, man. Dude, I hit it? What? Okay, this thing's supposed to be highly evasive. <laughs> Come on, prove my point! Don't make me look like a smoogle. You wanna make me look like a smoogle, do you? Freaking bug. Does it have, like, one antenna? Hit it! Dude, what? <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> it didn't... It didn't quite prove my point, but that thing is actually really evasive. I'm glad that didn't drag out, though. Getting lots of levels. Lots of levels. So yeah, that air purifier, you wouldn't get that if you didn't have Khalifa, and you need that for the Vice the Extravagant title image and a goddess figure which I'm pretty sure we already have so yeah let me just check <laughs> really quick oh uh, no we don't we have a blueheim figure okay upgrade so the air purifier see it doesn't really do anything it's just a vanity item I guess purifies the air below decks to keep everything smelling clean and fresh not sweaty so, yeah. Okay, well, that is all the side stuff I wanted to take care of. Thank God. <laughs> so, let's actually head to our destination, which is this thing. You can actually see it under the ice right here. Ruins of Ice. Okay, I, uh, this part is going to be really bright. This area is just ridiculously bright. <laughs> I'll get you, Cham. Hang on there, buddy. Jeez. I got, I got it, man. All right, there it is. But yeah, oh my god. This place is made of ice and stuff. Blinding. Um. So, yeah. I think I'm actually just going to end it here. Yeah, look, we just smashed into the ice right there. That's amazing. I'm just going to end it here, guys. I'm sure that's probably a decent length video with those two boss things. So yeah, next time we'll start exploring the ruins of ice.
and hopefully get the purple moon crystal. See you guys next time.